we have created this insert product form now we are going to see instead of displaying this static data category 1 category 2 we have to display the dynamic data here okay whenever we are inserting the product whenever we click on this we should be getting the data whatever is present inside the database okay not whatever we want but whatever is present whatever is available for us only that data should be displayed here so for that we are going to write php code now now here inside insert products insert product.php this file we have already created inside admin folder let me just close that one now here inside this okay where, where we are having this category section below this first option i am just going to write the php code okay to write php code we have to write this basic syntax now here i am just going to close that one now inside this what i am going to do is i am just going to select all the categories that is present inside categories table so for that i am just going to write the query now i will just write here select query i will be writing here select query now inside this i am just going to write the query select star from categories table I am just telling that I just want to select all the data whatever is present inside the categories. I am just selecting that one. Now I have to execute this query. So I will be writing here result query. Now here I am just going to write my SQL I query. Inside this we have to pass two parameters. First is our connection variable and second wherever we have written query we have to pass that variable. Instead of passing this variable you can directly pass the query as well. This entire thing you can pass here. As of now, I have just created one variable and inside that I have passed query. And inside this MySQLI query, I am passing two parameters, connection variable and query variable. Now to use this connection variable, we have to include our connect.php file. Because inside that itself, we are having this one. So for that, let me just do control B. Now here I am having this includes folder. Now what I am going to do is, I am just going to write, I am just going to include that one here. I will just come here. Here I am just going to write PHP syntax. Let me just come to insert categories of admin. From here I will just copy this one. And inside insert product I am just going to paste that one. I am just including this connect.php file. Why I am writing two dots here because this admin folder. Here I am having admin folder. And inside same level I am having this includes folder. Inside admin folder I am having insert product.php. So first I have to come outside of this folder, admin folder. So I am writing here dot. Again to go inside of this folder, I am writing here dot slash. Okay, even you have to do this one if you are having this inside another level. Okay, now we have just written this one, MySQLI query. And inside that we have just passed connection variable and this query variable. Now what I am going to do is, I am just going to select all the categories from the database. Now to select all the categories, we have seen, we are going to wrap that inside while loop. Now here I will be writing while loop, inside this I am just going to create one variable row and here I am just going to write here mysqli fetch asoc method. You can either write mysqli fetch array or you can write asoc method. Now inside this we have to pass this variable, I will just copy this one, where we have executed our query that variable we have to pass. Now from the database we can access the entire data whatever is available to us. Now I am just writing here category title. I just want category title. So here I will be writing that one. Category title and from here I am just going to fetch the data whatever is available inside the database. So this variable I am just going to pass here row. And inside this whatever column name I am having inside the database. You can see I am having category title. I am going to copy this one and here I will be pasting that one. I don't have to give any space. In the same way, I am just going to copy. Instead of category title, I will be writing here category ID. And here also I will be writing category ID. Now what I have done here is, I have just extracted all the data that is present inside the database. Now using this one, I will be getting this particular data. Okay, Whatever I am having inside the database, I am just fetching that one. Now this one, whatever I am passing here, that should be exactly matching with this column name. Okay, Only then it will be working or else it will not work. Okay, this whatever value we are passing here, that is completely different from this one. Okay, this is how we are going to fetch the data. Now, what I am going to do is, I am just going to write here echo. Now, here I will just write here, I will just copy this entire thing option. And here I will be pasting that one. I will just wrap inside double quotes. Here also I will be writing double quotes and semicolon. 
now inside this i'll just write here single quotes i'll save this as of now i'm just going to comment this out i'll refresh this one now when i click on categories you can see i'm having category 111 because this is going to run each and every time unless and until my data is present inside the database each and every time it is going to run as i have given the static data so this category 1 is been displayed now in place of this if i just give this one category title i'll just paste that one here i'll save this okay now you can see without refreshing i'm having this category 1 as soon as i refresh this one now when i click on this you can see all the categories whatever is present inside the database that is been displayed for me okay this is how we are going to fetch all the data from the database and we are going to display that one here now here whenever i click on this fruits instead of passing this name i can directly pass the category id inside the database now why i am doing like that is i'll just copy this category id and here i'm just going to paste that one now whenever i insert the fruits inside products table this category id will be stored because let me just come here now inside home page now whenever i click on this tips you can see here i'm having this category is equal to 6 okay using this id we are going to recognize the products and based on that we are going to display that one if this value instead of this if you just want to give category title then by inserting inside the value you can pass category title okay so now as a beginner you don't have to get confused with the names so we are just going to play with category ids and brand ids if you want to pass you can pass category id as well now if you just want to pass let me just come here inside this index.php now here below this now here we have passed brand id now let me just write here brand title i'll just copy this one and here i'm going to paste i'll just refresh this now when i click on brands allahabadi you can see brand is equal to allahabadi now this data you can insert inside the database okay whatever you want you can do based on your requirement you can change that one okay as of now i'm just going to work with id so i'll just write here brand id and also while inserting inside the products i just want to insert the category id and brand id because inside my url i am having the id okay not the title so i am just inserting the id so that when it get match the id number and id number gets match only that data will be displayed for me if i pass title then here i have to pass title okay whatever you feel comfortable you can just pass that one now here okay we are done with this categories in the same way i'm just going to do for brands i'll just remove all these things i don't need this one i'll just bring this here okay if you want you can install some of the extensions i have just deleted the extension because it was giving me red marks so i have just deleted that kind of extension now from here i'm just going to copy this entire code and instead of this i'm just going to paste that one i'm just going to change it to brands i'll just copy this and here i'll be writing brand title so let me just write here brand title here also i'll be writing brand title then i'm just changing it to brand id and here also i'll just change it to brand id i just copy this here i'll be pasting that one and copy this brand title and here i'm just going to paste okay this is how we are going to write the query okay this is the simple query we have already done it previously we have written the same query if you want you can directly copy from there and you can paste that one okay if you start typing only then you will be able to understand the project only then you will be able to do any kind of project if you are just looking for source code and if you are not doing by yourself if you just want to copy and paste then you will not learn the concepts and you will not be able to apply the concepts so just if you are getting errors then also no problem you can still type by yourself you can code by yourself you can explore the errors we are having plenty of websites where we are going to get tons of solutions to solve the errors so you don't have to panic if you are not getting you can just explore each and every website unless and until you don't solve the errors by yourself you will not learn the concept and you are not going to master any concept so you should learn by yourself you should explore by yourself if you teach yourself then you will never forget that concept in your life just explore the concepts and you will definitely get solutions to each and every concept okay now we are done with this now next we will be creating the database for products and then finally we are going to insert the products inside the database